We return to Southern California for one last Halloween trick. See how Tamara creates quite a scare with her bone-chilling greeting card. I'm back, and I have more tricks up my sleeve. I'm going to make this spooky ghost card. <laughs> Today to get started on my spooky ghost card, I have this template that I've pre-done on a piece of white paper. I use my vellum, and I use a dark marker with a thick line, and I trace around the ghost. Vellum is a thin piece of paper that is easy to see through and kind of has a flowy feel to it. In other words, tracing paper. I've traced my ghost, and now it's time to cut him out. I cut between the black lines, so there's an outline on each side of the ghost. This is the hard part, because cutting around this circle can get tedious. Done. To give my ghost some personality, I'm going to give him some wiggly eyes. This is my glue stick. This is the best thing since sliced bread. I use this marker to color in a mouth so he can scream. I'm looking for a Now I'm going to add this clear sticker so he doesn't get his head ripped off. After I put the sticker on, I use a hole punch to punch through the sticker. This is my cotton thread. This I use to floss my teeth. Just kidding. This is what I use to hang my ghost with. When the person gets the card, they can hang it. Now I'm going to attach him to this piece of cardstock. Now that he's attached to this piece of cardstock, I'm going to slide him into this vellum envelope. My ghost is ready to fly off in the mail. Ooh.